to Sam, um, when my cat died, I was devastated. And I also have a friend, Amy, her horse Eternal died. And it literally took five years for her to grieve. And she's, it's so traumatic. She's still not over it. So when you lose a beloved pet, what do you do? Like right when the pet dies and afterwards, how do you get over that? I don't think we ever get completely over it. We just have to recognize, number one, for me, um, allow yourself to grieve. And um, I, think, I think it's in the way in which we prepare them that helps with our grieving. For me, my main focus has always been, with any animal and any prop, remove fear, help them work through any kind of terror, and, and move our emotions into a place that supports their growth. So if they're at the end of their life, then, and let's say you've had to euthanize your animal and how hard that is. For me, I let them know, because an animal isn't frightened of the process. They are frightened of the end product. In our mind, there is an end point where we no longer see our pet with us. And they think, from their perspective, that we're going to take them to the vet and leave them there and walk away and never see them again. Now that is the truth of our experience, but that isn't what is going to happen to them. They're going to move out of their body, see their body, see you, and go home with you. Their spirit is going to go home with you. And so if you do an ongoing relationship, start talking about the vet's going to give you a little shock, you're going to get dizzy, you're going to spin out of your body, you're going to look at it, and then you're going to come home with me. Your soul will come home with me. Because of my love for you, that connection won't break. That's all you have to do.